Definition of Nisic Band A Nisic band refers to the distinct, often alternating layers of different minerals that characterize gneiss, a type of metamorphic rock. These bands, or foliation, are typically formed under high pressure and high temperature conditions deep within the Earth's crust. The process, known as metamorphism, causes the minerals to recrystallize and segregate into parallel or subparallel layers, creating the characteristic banded appearance. Nisic bands vary in composition and appearance based on the original rock, protolith, and the specific conditions of metamorphism. The bands usually consist of alternating layers of light-colored minerals such as quartz and feldspar, and darker minerals like biotite, hornblende, or garnet. The light and dark bands can range from millimeters to several centimeters in thickness. The formation of these bands is influenced by several factors, including the degree of metamorphism, the presence of fluids, and the original composition of the rock. In many cases, the bands reflect the original layering of the protolith, which has been modified and accentuated by the metamorphic processes. In other instances, they may result from the deformation and recrystallization of minerals under directed pressure, causing the minerals to realign perpendicular to the compressive forces. Nisic banding is not just a visual characteristic but also influences the rock's mechanical properties. The alternating mineral layers can create planes of weakness, affecting how the rock responds to stress and weathering. This banding is also a critical feature used by geologists to interpret the geological history of an area, providing clues about the conditions and processes that have shaped the Earth's crust over millions of years. Overall, Nisic banding is a fundamental aspect of gneiss rocks, representing the intricate interplay of mineralogy, pressure, temperature, and time in the Earth's dynamic crustal processes. Formation of Nisic Banding The formation of Nisic Banding is a complex geological process that occurs under high-grade metamorphic conditions, typically involving substantial pressure, temperature, and deformation deep within the Earth's crust. This process can transform various types of pre-existing rocks, known as protoliths, including sedimentary, igneous, and older metamorphic rocks, into gneiss through a series of intricate steps. Initial conditions and protolith composition, the protolith's mineral composition plays a crucial role in the formation of gneissic bands. For instance, sedimentary rocks like shale, which are rich in clay minerals, can transform into gneiss through metamorphism. Similarly, igneous rocks such as granite, containing quartz and feldspar, can also be precursors to gneiss. Application of directed pressure and temperature, metamorphism typically occurs at temperatures between 600 degrees Celsius and 900 degrees Celsius and pressures ranging from 1 to 12 kilobars, conditions found deep within the Earth's crust. Directed pressure, often resulting from tectonic forces such as continental collisions or subduction zones, plays a significant role in the reorganization of minerals. Recrystallization and segregation, under these high-pressure and high-temperature conditions, minerals within the protolith begin to recrystallize. This recrystallization process involves the growth of new mineral grains from the original ones. As the minerals recrystallize, they often segregate into bands of different compositions due to their varying chemical properties and stability under metamorphic conditions. For example, minerals such as quartz and feldspar, which are stable at higher temperatures, form lighter bands, while minerals like biotite, amphibole, and garnet, which form at slightly lower temperatures, create darker bands. Foliation and layering, the directed pressure causes minerals to align perpendicularly to the direction of the compressive force. This alignment results in foliation, a planar arrangement of mineral grains that gives the rock a layered appearance. In gneiss, this foliation is pronounced and forms distinct gneissic bands. The process of foliation can also enhance the segregation of minerals, accentuating the banded structure. Influence of fluids, the presence of fluids, such as water and carbon dioxide, during metamorphism can facilitate the movement of ions and enhance recrystallization. These fluids can aid in the transport of chemical components, promoting the growth of new minerals and further contributing to the development of gneissic banding. Deformation and folding 
tectonic forces not only apply pressure but can also cause significant deformation, including folding and faulting of the rock layers. This deformation can lead to complex patterns in the Nisic bands, reflecting the dynamic geological processes at play. In regions of intense deformation, the bands may become highly contorted, creating intricate and beautiful patterns. Time and progressive metamorphism, the formation of Nisic bands is a gradual process that occurs over millions of years. As metamorphism progresses, the texture and composition of the rock evolve. Initial stages may produce schist, characterized by a more finely layered structure, which can eventually transform into gneiss as conditions become more extreme and prolonged. In summary, the formation of Nisic banding is a result of the interplay between the original composition of the protolith, high-grade metamorphic conditions, directed pressure, mineral recrystallization, fluid presence, and tectonic deformation. This process creates the distinctive and aesthetically striking banded appearance of Nice, which also provides valuable insights into the geological history and processes that have shaped a region. Features of Nisic Banding Nisic banding, a hallmark of Nice rocks, showcases a variety of distinct features that reveal the history and conditions of metamorphic processes. These features are a result of the complex interplay of mineralogy, temperature, pressure, and tectonic forces, making Nisic banding an area of significant interest in geology. Below are the key features of Nisic banding. 1. Alternating light and dark bands. Nisic banding is characterized by the presence of alternating layers of light and dark minerals. The light bands typically consist of minerals such as quartz and feldspar, which are stable at high temperatures and pressures. These minerals often form coarse-grained, lighter-colored layers. The dark bands are composed of minerals like biotite, amphibole, and garnet, which form at slightly lower temperatures and pressures, resulting in darker, sometimes finer-grained layers. This contrast creates a striking visual pattern that is easily recognizable. 2. Foliation and Alignment of Minerals Foliation is a planar arrangement of mineral grains within the rock, resulting from directed pressure during metamorphism. In Nice, foliation manifests as the alignment of mineral grains perpendicular to the direction of compressive forces. This alignment is more pronounced in gneiss compared to lower-grade metamorphic rocks. The foliated structure gives gneiss its characteristic banded appearance and often imparts a layered texture to the rock. 3. Thickness and Continuity of Bands The thickness of gneissic bands can vary widely, ranging from millimeters to several centimeters. In some cases, the bands are continuous and uniform, extending over large areas of the rock, while in other instances, they may be discontinuous and irregular. The continuity and thickness of the bands provide clues about the intensity and uniformity of the metamorphic conditions and deformation the rock has undergone. 4. Compositional Segregation Nisic banding results from the segregation of minerals into distinct layers based on their chemical and physical properties. This segregation is driven by differential recrystallization during metamorphism, where minerals with similar properties coalesce into separate bands. This compositional differentiation is a key feature of Nisic banding, reflecting the selective recrystallization processes under varying pressure and temperature conditions. 5. Texture and Grain Size the texture of Nisic bands can range from coarse-grained to fine-grained, depending on the specific minerals and the conditions of metamorphism. Typically, the light bands with quartz and feldspar are coarser-grained, while the dark bands with biotite or amphibole may be finer-grained. This variation in texture contributes to the overall appearance and physical properties of the rock. 6. Deformation Structures Nisic banding often exhibits deformation structures such as folding, bending, and faulting, resulting from tectonic forces. These structures can create complex and intricate patterns within the rock, adding to its visual complexity. Folded bands, in particular, indicate the presence of significant compressive forces that have acted upon the rock over geological timescales. 7. Mineral Zoning in some Nisic rocks, mineral zoning can occur within the bands, 
where certain minerals show a gradual change in composition from one end of the band to the other. This zoning provides additional insights into the metamorphic history and the conditions of pressure and temperature gradients during rock formation. 8. Mechanical Properties The presence of Nisic banding affects the mechanical properties of the rock. The alternating layers can create planes of weakness, influencing how the rock breaks or fractures under stress. This feature is particularly important in structural geology and engineering, as it affects the stability and behavior of rock masses in construction and excavation projects. 9. Chemical and Isotopic Variations Nisic bands can exhibit variations in chemical composition and isotopic ratios, reflecting the original composition of the protolith and subsequent metamorphic processes. These variations can be used to trace the sources of the materials and the metamorphic history, providing valuable information about the geological evolution of the region. In summary, Nisic banding encompasses a range of features including alternating light and dark layers, foliation, band thickness and continuity, compositional segregation, texture, deformation structures, mineral zoning, mechanical properties, and chemical variations. These features collectively reveal the dynamic processes of metamorphism and deformation that have shaped the rock, making Nisic banding a key subject of study in understanding the Earth's geological history.